Google's new interactive sensor, Twitter's new CEO, and a personal luxury tank. I'm John P, and this episode of Geek Beats got it all. Project Soli is a new radar-based interactive sensor coming out of Google Labs. Unlike camera-based motion sensors, Soli can detect sub-millimeter motions at up to 10,000 frames per second. Plus, it can be embedded in a tiny chip that would fit on even a wearable device. Soli will even recognize complex gestures and convert them into simple commands for just about any device. Want to turn on your stereo? Snap it on! Sick of that song on Pandora and never want to hear it again? Give it the middle finger! <laughs> okay, Google didn't demonstrate that, but I'm guessing developers can accommodate. And right now, developers are the only ones who can get their hands on Soli. It's still in the lab, so it's going to be a while before we start clapping our toasters on and off. Well, unless you've got an old school clapper. Clap on, clap off! Some of you may recognize the name Jack Dorsey, Twitter's co-founder who later went on to found the payment company Square, is back in the news. This time because he's stepping in as interim CEO of Twitter as Dick Costolo unexpectedly announced he's stepping down. Critics have been claiming for a while that Twitter is struggling to build some sort of monetization strategy and Twitter stock has lost half its value since it peaked around $70 a share. Jack's return is supposed to be temporary while the social media juggernaut finds a permanent replacement. But at least investors seem to be happy. Stock jumped 8% when the news broke. Speaking of broke... Okay, for this next one there were just too many puns to decide. Speaking of broke, that's what you'll be after springing for this next one. Speaking of broke, you'll never need to worry about this next one breaking down. This next story is anything but stock. Up next, imagine what would happen if a Jeep Grand Cherokee SRT got busy with an M1A1 Abrams battle tank. The offspring would be the Ripsaw EV2 Extreme Luxury Vehicle. You can hand over a few hundred thousand bucks and they'll custom make you a one-of-a-kind off-road, and I do mean off-road buggy, that'll outrun anything. As long as you're racing through giant puddles of mud or huge sand dunes, or the crushed remains of a human civilization devastated by war with the machines. And now for something completely different. This is the OB200, a tiny little $49 voice over IP gateway box that lets you fire the phone company and start taking all of your phone calls over the internet. What's super cool about the OB200 is that it actually ties right into Google Voice. So if you have a free Google phone number, you can hook this little box up in your home or office and take the calls from any old phone you want to connect to it. We tested it out and it works great. Now we're actually waiting on one more unit to arrive so we can try a few other things because the potential uses are endless. Stick one on a fax machine, or in a conference room, or on an alarm system. Anywhere you'd like to have a phone line, but don't want to dish out like $30 a month for it. After our second OB arrives, we'll do a complete review, but if you just can't wait to try one, we've got links in the show notes at geekby.tv forward slash 1038. One last update. Hundreds of you guys have been asking me about the GeekBeat iTunes feed and when we're bringing that back. Well, we're actually working on that right now and it should be back very soon thanks to our friends at Discovery, or as most of you like to call them, Revision 3. We'll be going back to our normal production in the near future with at least three shows a week and full distribution on iTunes, YouTube, Roku, and everywhere else. The one thing we have yet to reinstate is the weekly live show, which I know many of you are wanting us to bring back. And for that, we can actually use your help. You can pledge a few bucks a month to help with the production at patreon.com forward slash geekbeat TV. That's it for today's show. I'm John P. Thanks for watching. <laughs>